In order to attain their full potential, Nigerian youths have been urged to invest in self-development in order to imbibe leadership skills. The advice comes as youths in the Federal Capital Territory met to take stock of how many young persons emerged out of the 2023 elections with elective positions. Habibat Ajayi has more to it. Despite the clamor for involvement of youth in governance, the numbers of young people saddled with the burden of decision making still remains below par. In recent years, initiatives like Not Too Young to Run Movement have increased numbers of youths that have clinched elective positions, but numbers from the last elections show that there is still a long way to go. To this end, the National Association of Nigerian Students, NAS, says it is ready to channel the energy and bright minds of its members for national development. If we include youth participation in governance, which has to do with both National Executive Council and all of that, of course, it will curb and settle some of the challenges that we are facing as far as this country is concerned. It runs in the Nigerian vein that they are always prepared, but the atmosphere is what is keeping them apart from the, the reality. We are always prepared to give our best when, if we are given a conducive environment to operate. However, the key to effective representation is for young people to acquire necessary skills to aspire the leadership positions. Young people should take control of their destiny. They should participate in politics the same way Barack Obama did in America, at community level, at local government level, at whatever level, from student unionism to basic community, and they will take over this country. That is basically it. Politics is not dirty. What I would encourage the youths is, first of all, to have integrity in their values and ask not what their country can do for them, but what they can do for the country and hold government to account. You know, participate in politics. The door has been flung open, not too young to run or to act or be somebody in it. But it's just not about looking for political portfolios alone. I think this country deserves more from the ingenuity and the resource of young people. Also, stakeholders laid emphasis on the importance of constructive educational structure that will strive of maximum productivity of the youths. Students are the youth and the youth are the leaders of tomorrow. And for students to be able to perform that responsibility of being the leaders of tomorrow, we have to prepare them today. And the preparation, part of the preparation is the fact that you are students. When the Aluta Anthem was being sung, you, you learned that they said education must be free. So instead of this student loan, why not give us a free and compulsory education? If you cannot afford that, give us a cheap and affordable education. That is the one demand we will always keep demanding. In the final analysis, youth have been urged to focus on the goal rather than concentrate on misconduct of leaders. Abibat Ajayi Trust TV Abuja.